10 and 0. Let's see what we've got installed today. Strange looking quirky opening. Let's develop the knight as usual and just bring the knight across, supporting the pawn. Let's get the bishop out, just tentatively stepping into the waters. They're moving like they think they've got this game sewn up, so I'll just castle. With the fancy tactical type thinking. Let's just play normal chess. Shall we just um, push the pawn? Let's just develop the bishop out. Nothing too extravagant. This tactical stuff really gets on my nerves. So whatever tactic they've got, let's see what the what see let's see what it is. The blasted through with this knight. I'm expecting it to do be doing something magical. Just bring this pawn here. The queen's always for the b pawn. Let's just push this pawn here. What's the tactic? What was all that big huffing and puffing about? It seems to slow down a little bit now. And another little knight in here let's see what you want are you actually taking the bishop smaller piece is now on the higher piece so they're gonna to have to take the knight out there why are they deliberating that's a very simple maneuver oh keeping the tension stuff okay now i'm hoping that they're overthinking the situation my fingers hovering over this pawn We've got a pawn support in here if the pawn takes. And if the knight takes, then we've got the knight and then we've got the queen as well. So I'm actually going to just go for that. Maybe we're making them pay the price for just blasting through without any full thought or strategy or plan. Just look like a quick and dirty tactic type thing. I'm actually going with the knight attacking the knight. And seeing as they're in this keeping the tension thing, I doubt very much that they're <laughs> going to exchange the queen, I was going to say. But they've gone a little bit far with that now and they're not captured. So again, hoping that they've um, made a bit of a mistake in that sort of realm. Knight can come here. It's got no follow on manoeuvre at the minute. Just to make space to attack this knight. So we could do that. So again, I'm not really sure what this knight thinks it's doing. It's just been bouncing around all over the place, hasn't it? Can we take it off the board? Let's look. Is there an obvious maneuver? Is there pressure on the queen? Is there some sort of magical maneuver that we have? Not really. Don't think we want to move this one because the queen will take the pawn. So that's probably what they're looking for. So I'm going to go with this, with the idea of pushing onto their knight with this pawn. I'm going to still push onto the knight with the pawn because the pawn now is supporting this. They're looking at some sort of battery type thing with this uh, situation coming in. So the knight moves yet again. So if we do take, then they do have the battery like they're looking at here, taking the pawn. So I'm hoping they're getting a little bit too big for the boots, really. And we could come here, attack their bishop. Bishop takes, knight takes, but that's a little bit too arty. We could simply move the queen here, protecting. But then there's nothing else supporting. Or we could just move the king out of the way. So they've got one, two, three pieces on this knight. We have one, two smaller pieces defending. What else can we do? Dark square bishop is not doing much at the minute. We could hit the bishop to see what he wants to do. But then the pawn takes, then we take, and then they've only one piece, well, two pieces protecting. 
Interesting. Pawn takes, pawn attacks, pawn takes, pawn takes, pawns on. But then there's nothing protecting the pawn, so the bishop can get that pawn for free. Might be running out of time, but mm, looks interesting-ish. Take, no check on his king. Takes, uh, mm -hmm. move the king out of the way. Knight takes, but yeah, we can move the king out of the way. Because we've got two smaller pieces, so if they do take... Oh, okay. <laughs> Could come here. Get a double whammy. Although we don't get anything for free there. Could take, as we said. But this one's protecting the pawn. Go here. It's also attacking a pawn as well. It's got this position here for a check on the king. Probably probably is going to drop the pawn down because they're chomping at the bit to get this pawn. Queen's got a nice space, but there's nothing. There's no dice there. No dice. Um, so put the check on. Put the check on. Still wants to get this pawn, so his king will probably move down. So the bishop's not going to take... Do have a check there, but it's not very good because we don't have anywhere to come back on. Apart from taking that pawn, but let's go with the check on the king. And like we said, it's going to probably end up moving because he doesn't want the bishop to be get involved in any of this capturing malarkey. Because they want this pawn. All of that for one pawn while we're trying to improve our position. Of, oh, they've taken... Oh, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. So does the queen come here because we have this rook situation? But I don't know if we can get to it. The knight it looks better because it's got a check and it's also hitting this pawn. So I think we're going to go with that. And we have the rook here, as we said, trying to improve our position on the board from this messy situation that's been created. He's got check. He's probably going to come down. No, maybe he's going to go here because he's going to try and hide, isn't he? Yeah, because the rook will be either taking this pawn and we can't really get in there. So he's going to be pretty safe. He's not actually done that. It's not checkmate, but there's a queen situation. We come here. He has to drop here, then the queen comes here, and then he's not got anywhere to go, has he? Yeah. Excellent. 